Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what the month of February has for you guys. Now your first card here is the Queen of Cups. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, um, Scorpio or Cancer, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Scorpio Cancer Pisces type of energy um, that's the current situation I feel that for some of you guys you may be dealing with this type of energy or feeling like a lot of what's happening right now is very connected to your emotions Leo now you also have the Queen of Pentacles Wow, we have two Queens here so your obstacle here is lack of practical uh, being practical so what they're telling you here is, Leo, if you're feeling like you will have been experiencing this emotional turmoil or a lot of emotions flowing through you, what they're telling you is there's a need for grounding. You need to be more practical in your approach when it comes to love and romance. Uh, for some of you guys, you may also be dealing with Earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Now, the past and passing, we do have the nine of pentacles. So it could be that you're feeling a bit emotional because there is a fear of understanding that perhaps there, there is some type of conclusion coming. Now, when I see two queens, this usually indicates to me rumors as well. So Leo, be very careful. Um, don't take advice or don't take, um, don't put a lot of energy or effort towards what people may be coming to you and telling you especially if it's in the sense of rumors like this person, you know, was saying this and this and that about you or whatever. Don't take it to heart. Uh, ask yourself why they're coming to you and telling you this and ultimately what is their goal or what's their motivation behind it. I feel that some of them may not be in a, in a positive way and I think that it's only to trigger you or to have you uh, react in a certain way. So, uh, be more methodical about that, especially in the workplace. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a serious relationship, um, there may be some rumors floating around or there may be some situation that happens in February where uh, rumors basically get to you uh, in the sense of hearing something about your partner that may trigger you uh, to the sense of almost like really thinking or wondering if you should walk away from the relationship or call it quits. And again, what they're telling you here is don't believe 100%. Uh, give ultimately the benefit of the doubt to your partner. Don't allow other people to step into your relationship or don't even grant them access to that. Um, remember, sometimes when we have issues or when we have difficulties, it's very easy for us to go to friends, to our family members and tell us, tell them exactly what's going on, especially when we're upset. Um, but remember, you're the one that's forgiving. You're the one that your loyalty lies with your partner. Uh, but your, you know, your friends and your family members, they don't have any loyalty to your partner. It's to you that they have loyalty to. So even though you may overcome this obstacle, ultimately, uh, you choose to forgive your partner for whatever reason, um, understand that they may not be so quick to forgive. So again, the less you express to other people what you're going through when it comes to partnerships, uh, the more you keep them at bay from stepping in or feeling like they have some type of authority within the relationship. Remember, a relationship takes two people, not the whole family <laughs> or your friends or etc. So again, um, just be mindful about that and don't let that catch you off guard. Uh, just understand that whatever you may hear about your partner may not be 100% true. Um, I do see you overcoming or being able to overcome this obstacle. I think more than anything, it's just based off of rumors. Now, your other card here is the Eight of Wands. So there is a lot of communication. I think that uh, for the month of February, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of people reaching out to you, a lot of people communicating. And again, this could bring about rumors, something that has directly impact the relationship. But what they're telling you is don't take it at face value. Understand uh, that 
you know, when someone comes to you and is quick to tell you the negative of, about your partner, you got to ask yourself, what is it that they're getting out of this and what their motivation or intentions are behind it? Now, you do have the karma card. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do see a person coming towards you and this person may already be in your surroundings. It could be a friend of a friend. It could be a friend of a relative, uh, etc. But I do see that for the month of February, someone's going to be reaching out to you trying to get your attention. Now, we do have the karma card here, and this is the devil card representing Capricorn type of energy. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that um, there is a Capricorn in your surroundings that may be interested or emotionally invested in you. Um, now, with the six of swords here, I do see progress and moving forward. The advice here is ultimately, um, Leo, to let go of burdens, stop taking on other people's responsibilities, uh, even when it comes to relationships. So for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, for some of you guys, you may be on the pursuit of finding financial stability or focused on your career paths. And that could be some of, you know, most of your energy where it's going to. And what they're telling you is there's absolutely nothing wrong with having an emotional connection or with having someone just to vent to. And I think that that's very necessary. You guys have become very self-sufficient and that's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. But the bad thing about that is when you become so comfortable uh, not needing from anyone, you kind of seclude yourself. And that's a choice you've made uh, based on the previous experience. For some, it could be just the frustration of feeling like you don't feel you don't find someone uh, that really gets your interest with the 10 of wands, though. I feel that you're still carrying past experiences, even if you, at this point in your life, you feel like you you're no longer attached to your partners, your ex partners, whatever the situation may be. I feel that there is still something that you're carrying and it could be the fear of getting hurt, of course. But what they're telling you here is that partnership is inevitable for you. Uh, with the world card and the ace of swords there's a new beginning coming whether you're ready or not and partnerships is going to be very important for you for this year leo so just keep your heart open and try the best you can um, to not you know not seclude yourself don't become uh, just you in solitude there is a need of course we all need to recharge our batteries but at the same time it is necessary for us to be around people, not only for, you know, sound mind, but as well as because it raises your vibration, you know. So again, uh, make sure to put effort into experiencing new things. They are also telling you here, Leo, that you need to be a little bit more spontaneous. Again, if you have some type of uh, everyday thing that you do during the weekend or something like that, it's time to switch it up a bit, be a little bit more spontaneous. Uh, I do see travel for you guys. And for some, you may be meeting a person while traveling. Uh, and this is going to be traveling away from your normal, you know, your city or your country even. Um, I do see travel for you guys and I do see partnerships for you. So again, don't be surprised if you actually meet a new person that you're very interested in for the coming months. Um, and again, like I said, open, keep a, uh, your heart open, keep your mind open. Uh, don't restrict yourself so much and don't be too hard on yourself, Leo. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.